let's just chill and watch TV for a bit. Let's just chill and watch TV for a bit. Sounds like the postman's arrived. I think these are about to be delivered as soon as the courier's done with this mobile. The writing on the large parcel says, the finest selection of lager and bitter, right to your doorstep. Dear Al, I've decided to write this letter because we never really had a chance to say goodbye. Janice told me you'd given up the drink. I couldn't believe it at first. Then I heard about the group therapy, and yeah, it looks like you finally admitted that you have a problem. I'm impressed, Al. But it's too late. This wound is never gonna heal. I hated you for so long. I wouldn't know how to love you now. Now, after all this time, I understand you never wanted to hurt me. You were ill. I can never forgive you for what you did. And yet, I hope you can still turn your life around and be the good man you once were. Goodbye, Al. And good luck.
It's playing some crazy old movie. She looks like she's reaching out for something. Mom, why do you keep haunting me? There's a massive padlock on it. Well, well, well. If it isn't my sweet little lover. Hi, um... You all right? No, Lorelei. I am not all right. Lorelei? Huh? Oh god. It's you. Um, where are you? Right here, in the cage. Are you a talking crow? No. I mean, yes, I, I suppose. That bitch queen of maggots turned me into a crow and locked me up. Jimmy? Yeah, it's me. So now you're Jimmy the Crow. Does it hurt? Not really. But boy, I'm so hungry. How did she find you? Oh, I went to the tunnel. I knew I shouldn't have. And that thing, that monster, it grabbed me hard and shrieked like a demon. Then I woke up here, hungry, so fucking hungry. I'm sorry to see you like this, Jimmy. 
But I'm here. We'll figure out how to save you. Yes. But first... I need food. I'll starve to death if I don't eat something soon. How come you're so hungry? You've not been here long. Really? It feels like years and years to me. Oh! Did you hear that? Hear what? My stomach. Rumbling. Like a thunderstorm. Well, how about some delicious juicy pumpkin? Yeah, I'm not eating that. What's wrong with pumpkins? I don't know. But for some reason my stomach turns if I even think about them. Oh, come on. You'd rather starve to death than eat a pumpkin? I think... I know! They're filled with blood! Look, I know it's crazy, but... I'd really much prefer those white granules. Isn't that... fertilizer? I don't care what it is. It smells so good. I really, really want it. I'll see what I can do. You can just give me some of that fertilizer. You sure that's even edible? I want it! Please! on the door looks familiar. This... monster... Could it really be what Queen of Maggots actually was?
your parasite, John. I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna kill you. Lorelai? Are we in heaven yet? really doesn't look like heaven to me. Kind of does. From where I'm looking. Oh, Zack. I saw you dead. You... you had a... <laughs> you had a bullet hole right between your eyes.
It was just a trick of the light. You are so awesome, Lorelei. I'm not. Bethany's dead. It's my fault he took her. I'm so sorry. I... I thought it was the cop. But he smacked me one right in the face and I went down like a sack of bricks. I know. I fell for it too. How bad is it? Well... <laughs> this rod's gone right through me. If I move... My guts will probably fall out onto the floor. <coughs> They're not my prettiest part, as you can imagine. So I'd rather spare you the sight. I think I'll just sit here. Very still. For a little while longer. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. It's okay. No, it's not. None of this would have happened to you if I hadn't knocked on your door and asked for help. I have no regrets. For you, I'd do it a thousand times over. You know this. I could never find the courage to say it, but... I love you. I've loved you from the moment I saw you, Lorelei. Two years ago, the day I moved in, you sat on the stairs with your headphones on. And you were wearing the same dress, red and black with stripes. I knew right then. I love you too, Zach. I can't let you die like this. There must be some way to save you. To save all of us. You really had died, hadn't you? You'd think I've lost my fucking marbles if I told you. I make video games. I spent half my life living a fantasy. Try me. Imagine for a moment that when I die, the time stops and I go to this strange other world. I'm with you. There's a monster there, deep in the tunnels. And an old woman. The Queen. She lights candles for each of us in her house. And she likes to put them out. And as their flames die, so do we. That monster, you know, I... I feel that if I destroyed it, it would make everything okay again. Actually, I nearly blew it up with explosives. But, sadly, nearly is as far as I got. And now I'm kind of fucked. And that's assuming that I simply haven't gone crazy in the head. So... You need a way to kill the monster, right? Wait... You actually believe me? Yeah... I mean, sure, it's all very odd. But yeah... I believe you. It's a large kind of creature, right? You can still blow it up. Best way to fight it. But with what? I'm out of bombs. 
Make another one. Like I know how to make a bomb. It's easy. I made plenty of them. Let me guess. And Skyrim? <laughs> Darker silly. Bombs? In Skyrim? What for? When you have fireballs? But sure. They could have bombs. Anyone can make a Molotov's cocktail. You see that bottle over there? Grab it. Just fill it up with alcohol or gasoline. Anything that's flammable will do. There's other things you can add to make it go boom twice as much. Like saltpeter. But I doubt you find any of that here. Anyway, stick a rag in it, light it up, and send that thing off to hell. You sure it won't just break in my hand and burn me alive? I guess that's one risk you have to take when you fight monsters in dark tunnels. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Take this. Something to light your Molotov. And perhaps some candles. If you find one with my name on it. <laughs> this time, it's the princess that saves the hero. Be more careful this time. 